Hi guys, my name is Katie, or KB Does Art, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to texture our uh, desk lamp. So let's go ahead, click on Arnold, and grab a sky dome light, and then let's just select the object and do assign new material, shader, AI standard surface, and then uh, go ahead and scroll all the way to the right, and there we go, there's our texture. Um, I'm going to up the roughness a bit. If you click 7, you'll see the like super white texture, but I'm going to click 5 and just stay on this for a little bit. Um, I think I want to make it like a light-ish gray. I'm kind of actually going for like the typical Pixar lamp. It's like pretty grayish. Yeah. Okay. Next. Let's go into face mode and I want to select all of these guys in here that are a part of the light bulb. Um, there we go. For that, I was just holding tab, clicking one, and then click, double clicking the next. And then for this, you can just hold tab and, and drag. Okay, so for the actual light bulb, let's assign a new material to it. So hold right click, do new material, AI standard surface, and then I'm gonna make this one like slightly a yellow tint probably. And then um, I think, oh yeah, in emission, it'll emit like a yellow light, I believe. I wanna try it out. Let's click on Arnold and then click render and see how that's looking. Oh yeah, so totally you can, totally can do a mission. That looks great. I've never done that before for the lights. Also, maybe we make this button a different color so it doesn't like blend in so well. Um, I'm just gonna go into face mode and just double click that object assign a new material, AI standard surface, and then, um, I don't know, maybe we make it like a darker gray. Yeah, like that. I also kind of want to add accents to this portion. Like, let's make this black as well. You can just assign the existing material that we were using there. And then, ooh, let's do the same thing here. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Same thing, assign existing material. And then, Um, okay, for this part, I think I do actually want to select all these faces. Oh, except for, except for this. Don't select that. Um, I think I want to select them and actually make them black. I think that'll be a cool contrast. There we go. Deselect all those guys. And then same thing of that black color. And then let's find, let's see, where's that? Okay, I guess this didn't keep, so let's texture that again. And we're gonna assign new material to it. This guy's gonna be the yellow emission. So go down to emission, make it a yellow color, and then up the lights so that it's actually emitting yellow light. That's so fun. I wonder if you can do like, oh, you can do crazy like amounts. I think one is fine. <laughs> I think one's good. Um, ooh, let's add in, um, I wanna make the white yeah, this part. Let's make it a little bit lighter. 
the roughness is good. We could even like turn the metalness up if you want to make it look like metal. Might be cool. If you click on poly modeling and grab a plane and then scale it up by clicking R, assign a new material, go to shader, AI standard surface, and then I usually add in this checker because I kind of like how it looks. But that's up to you. I wonder what it will look like. Oh, how fun. You can edit the um, sky dome light if you want to make it like less intense. Then it like make it like real creepy looking. Might be fun. Let's see. And then if we like upped the emission level, that might be kind of cool. Might be too much. Huh? That's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. It's so fun. Um, whenever you are dealing with light like that, it's going to take a bit more to render out, so you'll have to kind of give it some time in the Arnold render, but um, I think, yeah, that's fine. Um, other than that, that's kind of it for this guy. I'm just kind of playing with some of these metal textures right now. Um... Oh, and also we need to move our floor down since it's <laughs> protruding out of the ground. There we go. All right. That looks pretty fun. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, that's about it for this. So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, but that's about it. So I will talk to you guys in our next tutorial. Bye, guys.